Hey guys, welcome back to another Life is Strange 2 video. I am on the final part, which is episode 5 of Life is Strange 2. This is the final episode, I should say, of uh, Life is Strange 2. If you guys are excited to see how it ends, I'm going to be shocked when I see how all my choices, uh, you know, see what happens when all my choices come to an end. So, um... I might get a different ending this time. I'm hoping for a different ending. So, I shall see. So, um, here we go, guys. Uh, the final, uh, final chapter. To Life is Strange 2. Hope you guys are ready for the final stretch. Here we go. And welcome back to, uh, Life is Strange 2. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. And hope you guys are excited for the end like I am. To see how things play out. And yeah, I got my Xbox fixed, guys. So I'm able to record right off my uh, game capture card onto my PC using Streamlabs. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. Wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the Wolf Brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The Big Brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage. But when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The Wolf Brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway.
Must be in Arizona. Hey. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. That is pretty. <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes I feel that like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. She's scared. She's lucky. Let's say she's lucky. <sighs> she's lucky you didn't go after her. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Let's see. We're together. She has no power. Let's say we're together. Listen, we're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? They sort of, no. I'm gonna say no. No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anano. Sean... I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Yeah, I can tell you. I'm gonna say, yeah, I can tell you. Oh, yeah, I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm, let's see. Oh yeah, okay, so. Thanks to their mama wolf, the Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote Cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, Lied. A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me. 
Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? I'm gonna say, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, then. So what happens next? Uh... They... They arrive in Mexico. But the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. And this place is too pretty. Let's pack that. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Activate flashlight. And no funny business. Of course not. On the way. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Let's do draw. Let's do some drawings, guys. My boy, pack away. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, this is so happen. cool. Stop drawing is never gonna happen. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm, I can try. My back hurts a little. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, man. I do look like a mighty superhero. That's so cool. There we go. Got an achievement. Okay. Now we can pack it away. Yo, that Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. There we go. Packing is fun. What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, 
Let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for taking a piss when the only one fell. I know. You tried to warn me. At least we got to see Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah. These guys are real cool. Okay, I'm gonna explore over here, guys. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, oh, uh, good question. Actually, it does. Hmm. Huh? Now, what the hell is that? Let's see what this is. Daniel, I see something behind this rock. Can you bring it over? Ah, gotcha. I see. Here it comes. Oh, look at that. So cool. Yep. We're taking this treasure. There we go. We got an achievement right there, guys. We got an achievement right there. There we go. Damn. I've got the munchies. Hope Karen has some food. Hey, come on. Okay, back down. This is really pretty. My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. <laughs> so pretty. You better help, Daniel. You know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool- Oh, look, look. Oh, man, I just saw a cool baby lizard. Yeah, and you scared it. I know. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. And let him help with this. So, maybe he can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> there you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. Very good, Daniel. Good job. Hey, I'm gonna go see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Okay. Went to town for weekly supplies. 
Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> Back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat, pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry, I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Let's check this out. 